Here we're looking at the probability of independent events. So here's our, uh, our example. A student ran out of time on a multiple choice exam and guessed the answers for two problems. Each problem had four answer choices, A, B, C, and D, and only one correct answer, of course. What's the probability that he answered both of the problems correct, correctly? So he's guessing on both, all right? The student guessed on two multiple choice. Whether his guess on the first problem is correct or incorrect does not affect his guess on the second. That's what makes them independent. Events of this type, where the occurrence of one event has no effect on the probability of the other event, that's called independent. That's what we're talking about. In order to find this probability, then they are multiplied. The probabilities of the two events are multiplied. In other words, ding, 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 we have a formula. The probability of A and B happening is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So in this case, we're trying to figure out what's the chance or the probability that he gets both correct. Well, it's going to be his probability of the first one times the probability of his second one, right? And so what is his first probability of his first guess? Well, it's got a four-choice answer. He's guessing A, B, C, or D. He's guessing one out of the four chances, so it's going to be one-fourth, right? And then the second time, he's going to guess one out of the four choices, so that's going to also be one-fourth. So our overall probability of getting them both correct is going to be one-fourth times one-fourth, which makes one-sixteenth. So it's one out of a sixteen, one out of sixteen chances that, that someone could get both of those right by just guessing. This is a really key formula. It, it kind of helps because each of these are not too hard to figure out. Let's look at another example of applying this. This one might be a little more complex, but nonetheless, two little mini problems makes it a little more straightforward. We're talking about a local school having 15 girls, 18 boys in the seventh grade, and then 14 girls and 13 boys in the eighth grade. And the principal is going to randomly select an eighth grader and a seventh grader for some citywide competition. What's the probability that the students that the principal selects are both boys? Write your answer in a fraction, lowest terms. So once again, we use our handy dandy formula. The probability that both of those randomly selected students, one seventh and one eighth grade, are both boys. It's the probability of the seventh grade boy times the probability of the eighth grade choice being a boy. So let's look closely at each of those individually. <coughs> First of all, we want to calculate the probability of this seventh grade choice being a boy. Well, how many boys are there in seventh grade? There's 18 boys in seventh grade, and how many total seventh graders? 33, because we have to add those numbers up, the number of boys and girls. So that reduces, and we get 6 11th. Then the second probability is what's the chance that the 8th grader selected is a boy? Well, once again, how many 8th grade boys are there? There's 13. And how many total 8th graders? 27. So now we have that probability, and we have to take these two and multiply them together. When we do that and reduce, we get 26 uh, over 99 as our final answer, right? Okay, so there we have it. Okay, have fun.